<laughs> Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us today for Live with Lee and Haley. I'm Haley Harmon, and we have the lovely and fabulous Mary Jo Perino yes, filling in for thank Lee you. today. Thank you, thank you. We're so glad you're here. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. It's fun. Always fun. Yeah. Always fun. Well, what's new with you? What's going on? Oh, Lord. Um, Anything nothing. cray going on at your house? How are the kids? They're they're, always, they're they always awesome. make for good stories. They're awesome. They were both eating bagels in my bed this morning. Mm. And I took a picture of it because it was too cute. And Sam was like, let me guess. You're going to tweet that and say hashtag mom goals. I was like, yeah, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Maybe because... I will. I made fried cauliflower rice for the first time last night. Okay, is that good? It Everybody's doing the cauliflower thing. so good. Did it really? It really you didn't did. feel like this is cauliflower, I wish I had rice? I didn't. Really? I'll be honest. Like, I kind of, I crushed it because <laughs> it was really good. I didn't think it would be as yeah. good as it was. I yeah. was prepared to, for it to I be bad. I lowered my expectations. So I knew it wasn't going to be rice, but it was. It ended up being really good. That makes me happy because yeah. I sometimes feel like that's what everybody's doing now to try to be a little bit healthier is cut out some of the rice and do the cauliflower. But I'm always like, am I going to hate this and the whole time be like, well, it's not rice. This Cauliflower has, ta has like gotten a whole new it's the thing. makeover. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all about it cauliflower now. Yeah. But it's good for you. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Good for you. Mary Jo and I were talking about uh, fitness classes today before we got on the show because, as you know, I'm going to be switching shifts soon. Um, yeah, I start anchoring our new 4 p.m. newscast next week. Congratulations, Thank by you the so way. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm so very excited. excited. I'm very, very excited. I'm just so excited to sleep for a change. But... Um, I, that's one thing I'm excited about is going to classes and events at normal people times. Yes, <laughs> to yeah. think that I could be going to a I workout like normal class. people time. Things. Normal people yeah. time. I mean, you were in the news business for so long, or mm -hmm. sports. You know, gosh, you know the crazy schedule lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, and, um, yeah. It's it's just, it is. So it's I not like normal. normal people. Yes. jobs and hours now. Yeah. So a couple weeks ago, Lee was very proud of me. I went and finally, I've lived here for three and a half years now, and I finally got my Kentucky driver's license. Oh about three gosh. and a half years too late. <laughs> I went and I was like, I told the lady. Could you just not let go of the just, Tennessee thing? Sort of, yeah. sort of, but also I just didn't think about it ever. Only because I, you know, I, I don't know, I just never thought about it. And so one day I finally was like, I've got to get this done. So I went and I did it. And the lady, I guess she doesn't watch us because I, I went on, I was like, I'm so sorry, you know, I'm a little late on this, obviously. She goes, oh, honey, that's okay. If you moved here within the last 30 days, you're fine. I was like, it's been a month. It's been three and a half years, but okay. Yeah. But anyway, so I did that because I needed to get a passport, and I went to apply for a passport today. Let me see this. And I got my, they took oh, my picture. Oh, that's a good picture. I know, because did you know they let you smile now? This is my photo that they took. She gave me a second copy of it. I think that's a great picture. Thank you. I'm actually, that's why I'm showing it, because I'm actually very pleased. It's the best, like, photo I've probably ever taken at a DMV or a passport place. But, yeah, did you know you could smile? I got up there and was like, I'm going to have to be serious. Well, that's why what, could you not, could you not smile Because, you know, what, wasn't that the rule on old passports? You weren't allowed to smile. They didn't want you to I show. Know. I thought that was a thing, that they, you weren't allowed to show your teeth. or. I think it was just the, the rule was you just that? have to be ugly. You just have to be ugly. That's what okay. all my passports are. Are they? So I, I assume that's the rule. You yeah. just have to look ugly. Yeah. Well, when she said, she goes, you can smile a little bit. Because I got up there and I was like. <laughs> she goes, you can smile a little. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, that's mine. That's a good picture. I'm actually very Aren't pleased. Aren't you glad that, that like. For 10 years, that lasts. I know, that's so you will thing. have that picture for 10 I'm years. I'm so excited. And so I'm probably going to frame this and put it on Lee's desk when he gets back. So when he comes back into work, he's off today and tomorrow. When he gets here on Thursday, it's just going to be sitting there. And it looks like I work for the Postal Service. It does. Now. It looks like you are <laughs> the head of the post office. I am the yeah. head of the post office. And quick note, did you know, this has been talked for a couple years now, that Real ID law. Mm -hmm. Get a passport if you don't already have it. Starting in October, your Kentucky driver's license won't let you get on an airplane. Yeah. You have to have one, a separate ID, or if you have your passport, you can fly with it. That's what the lady at the office told me, mm -hmm. starting in October. So if you don't have a passport, even if you don't plan on traveling internationally, go ahead and get one, just in case we don't get in yeah. compliance with that. Yeah. Yeah, I got, mine, I got mine renewed two years ago. Good. So you're good and to go. And it was during... Uh, point in my life where I just went back to brown hair for like a hot second. Uh-huh. <laughs> ten years and then of it's that a hot ten second. year thing. Like <laughs> I should have should have really thought harder yeah, about that. Yeah. Actually I hadn't thought about that. That's ten oh man, ten years. Mm -hmm. That's a long time. Think how much happens in ten years. I know. So a many lot. hair colors. <laughs> so <I know>. many. <laughs> well only one for me. Right. And it was like three months. In that entire ten year span, that's when I have my passport picture taken. Nice. Oh, well. Wow. Yes. Oh, well. Okay, we've got some hot topics to get to. Let's do it. Hot topics. 
For the first time in more than 30 years, an American woman has won the Boston Marathon. Have you seen this? Desiree Linden, a two-time Olympian, finished at an unofficial time, two hours, 39 minutes, 54 seconds. Linden is also being credited for showing sportsmanship. Look at this. She slowed down to wait on one of her friends after she had to dart into one of those porta potties they had. She stopped for her friend. Great sportsmanship, yet she still won. First American woman in 30 years. And by the way, look at the weather. Would you imagine oh. running? Like, I couldn't imagine running no. that anyways. But it was brutal in Boston yeah. yesterday. Oh, my god! Um, but this is so cool. This is so cool. Yeah. Two out, two and a, more, less than three hours to that, run 26 miles. That is insane. Yeah, and in that well, I just can't imagine a worse. But, hey, everybody has their thing. But like you said, I wouldn't want to run that period on a gorgeous spring day. I know. <laughs> still be it like, was brutally cold, Disaster. freezing rain, awful. Good for her. Okay, well, a dad from Louisville is going viral. He's also a huge Star Wars fan. Well, he has created the ultimate eating spot for his son, a Star Wars at at Imperial Walker. Look at this. It's made of wow. wood. He used a really cool machine, a CNC machine to build it. It's a process that uses computers to control machines like grinders. They cut all the pieces of wood exactly how you need. Once the pieces were cut, dad put it all together. He also made a rocker that looked just like it as well. I mean, I hope that kid realizes what an awesome dad he's got. Cause that, yeah, that That's is really intense. cool. That's intense. Yeah. I had a lot of Adat Walkers when Sam was little. Did you? I didn't ever build it. Okay. Look at that. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, that is awesome. He's so cute. He loves it. And I love that the dad is from like right in our area. He's from Louisville. That is awesome. I want to know the total time it took to make that. I just know how many times when we were kids and in home videos, it's my dad putting together our toys yeah. that we got at Christmas, and he's like, and now that'll be covered in spaghetti sauce. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. James Comey's blockbuster memoir, A Higher Loyalty, Truth, Lies, and Leadership, hit store shelves this morning. The book contains comments about President Trump. It went on sale at midnight. The publishing house has printed 800, five, or 850,000 copies. The book is expected to join Michael Wolff's Fire and Fury on the New York Times bestseller list. That, that is huge. 850,000 copies yeah. at print is a lot like they, they knew that that fire and fury book right. was going to be big they yeah. only printed 150,000 when that came out oh my so imagine gosh. what they think comey's book is going to do that put, i'm so glad you said that that puts it into perspective yes. because i don't you know i guess i can't really gauge how many is a ton of books to print these yes. days 850,000 and they knew fire and fury was going to fly was going to be shelves. huge yeah 150,000 yeah oh my gosh i mean and the press it's gotten even ahead of time just from the interview James Comey did, of course, the other night, and then just the comments that he has shared. Whew, it's going to be an interesting read, yeah. that's for sure. So if you've read it or you've already picked up a copy, chime in over on our Facebook page. I'll just follow Trump's Twitter feed and just see what it's... Yes, the highlights. we'll know. Yes, that's what we'll get the highlights. The high <laughs> yes, it will. The big moments. A North Carolina mom has found... North a Dakota. Oh, yes, North Dakota. Excuse me. Mom has found a way to keep tabs on her model brother. She has her son recreating his uncle's poses. Oh, my gosh. They started the picture taking last year and started sending family members photos saying, who wore it better? The pictures oh my gosh. have then been posted on Instagram and have since gone viral. They post new photos every week. How who's cute, cute is this? Who's cuter? I don't know. I'm trying to just, oh, oh my gosh. Okay. okay. I am trying to decide who I want to hang out with more. I they're so, oh, oh, and there now they I are. know I don't want to hang out with either one of them because they're ego <laughs> This changes that everything. ruined it. Oh, my gosh. That one's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> the, oh, oh, gosh. This is hysterical. Look at the thighs on that guy. Yeah. My word. Wow. That is hilarious. Oh, I love it. You're I always taking it. funny pictures of your kids and funny stories of them. I love that. That, I feel like, is one of the funniest reasons, like, to have children because they are just yeah. such, they're just free entertainment. Oh my gosh. Wait, do I have a second? Yeah, you got a okay, second. Okay, so we were we went to um, the aquarium yeah. with a bunch of friends, and there were two um, seven-year-old boys sitting across the table from us when we went to lunch. Uh -huh. Our friends had yeah. seven-year-old boys. And so my daughter is two and a half, and she's scrolling through pictures on the phone because that's what she likes to do to keep herself occupied, yeah. and she's quiet. So she finds this picture of herself, which she wanted me to take when she first wore her big girl underwear, oh. but her pose is like this. Oh, oh, her shoulder, and it's of the, her butt. Uh huh. And she found that picture, pulls it up, looks at the two six year old boys, and goes, Stop. Stop it. Stop what do you guys, it. What do you think, guys? No, she didn't. No. 
<laughs> that and the is boys awesome. are like, oh my gosh. And she's like, mm hmm. <laughs> she's like, yeah. This, this is me. That's so. And you're like, and that's, that's what I'm all about. That's my daughter. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. I'm very proud. But she was just like, oh. <laughs> she's got attitude. You like that? You like what you see? <laughs> really? Yeah. 15 years, call me. It's going to be great. <laughs> a high school sophomore dumped her boyfriend recently because of what he said about her prom dress. And I can't say I blame her. She sent him a picture and he said that she was showing too much skin, but then said, you look like a slut. Is what he said to her. Okay. She, yeah. She had sent him a picture of her dress when he made the comments. She dumped him almost immediately. She then posted this text conversation on Twitter. It has gone viral. She says her now ex-boyfriend had a history of being controlling. She said she posted this on Twitter to expose him and says she's actually shocked it went viral. Well, I am assuming that that dress is pretty revealing that we can't even I know sell it, I right? I thought we were going to get to see the pictures. Why can't, yeah. So I, I guess we can't speak to if, you know how much skin it was showing, but dude, don't call anybody a slut. Come on. Come on. That's Especially over the line. Girlfriend. Right? Yeah, that's a tough one for your girlfriend yeah. to swallow. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. She picks her dress over you. You must not be very good. Oh my gosh. This, I mean, I sat on Instagram for the last 36 <sighs> hours waiting to find out this exact news. Yes. Khloe Kardashian announced on Instagram Monday she has named her daughter True. True Thompson. She posted um, that the baby has stolen their hearts and they're overwhelmed with love. Just two days before giving birth to True, videos emerged of Chloe's boyfriend and father of the baby, NBA, NBA star Tristan Thompson, cheating on Chloe with several other women. He's been linked to at least five women. People Magazine reports that a source says Chloe isn't mad at Tristan though and has basically already forgiven him. I can't get enough of this story. I, I cannot. Now, yes. listen, Chris Jenner said that her grandfather's first name was True. Okay. Her father's oh. middle name was True. So this oh. is actually a family name and not just kind of some crazy Kardashian thing. Yeah. I mean, we uh, didn't think she was going to name it like Michelle or anything, but like. Yeah. <laughs> this but was, it was a little. Eh. Yeah. Um, also, but it is a family you can't name. Be, you have to still be mad at Tristan. I, I, you have to still be mad at Tristan. He's like, horrible. He is horrible. What he did is horrendous. Yeah. And the timing, horrendous. Also, P.S., he did that to his last girlfriend, who was pregnant when he started dating Chloe. Yeah, yeah. This, There's like a little bit of a history here. Yeah. You can't... Uh, God, you can't escape that. Yeah, you cannot. If he's done it before, he's going to do it again. Because yeah. I had originally, there were some reports saying that, yeah, when he and Chloe got together, he was still with his ex. She was like eight months pregnant. Right. When well, they got together. Yeah. So she had the baby after, after him and they Chloe got, got, together. got together. I mean, I know they're overwhelmed with love right now for this baby, but what he did is unacceptable. Yeah. We'll see yeah. what happens with it. But yeah, now that I know that the name has some meaning to it, the family it, name. Don't you feel a little bit I better? I feel like, okay, yeah. True's nice. Yeah. It was her dad, her granddad yeah. honoring that, you know, that history. So that's nice. I hate this. This makes me so sad. Uh, WWE stars John Cena and Nikki Bella have called it quits just weeks before they were supposed to get married. The engagement is off. Cena tweeted the news on Sunday. The news coming as a shock to fans of the couple of six years. He posted on Twitter noting hardship, loss, and humility, but having a sense of humor. Worst day ever from The Simpsons. Nikki saying, quote, while this decision was a difficult one, we continue to have a great deal of love and respect for one another. They were supposed to get married next, next month. month. Next I, month. I just hope this isn't a Made for reality TV storyline. Yeah, line. where they get back. Yeah, I know you're right. You're right. Because they are on a reality TV show, mm -hmm. you know, and, and they've both been in the spotlight a lot. But yeah, they were together six years and just weeks before the wedding. I mean, that means. And I loved them together. I know. I know. I mean, she is just so gorgeous and seems so nice, and him too. And they were so sweet together. It's just like. I know, I but, loved it. Yeah, I hate that for them. But if, you know, if they had problems better now than, you know, a few weeks after the wedding. Yep. Because then that's just embarrassing at that point. <laughs> that's just like, ask Brittany. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> or old school Kim Kardashian. Remember <laughs> right. those days? The OG days? It's good timing.